Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 12th to the 18th of September 2022 and you are number five this week so thank you very much for all your likes and shares and subscriptions. Wow and it's also nice to see you in the lives so I hope you will join me on Wednesday morning or Wednesday evening. You come in with the Three of Cups, so there will be celebrations. And the energy today is very positive. It was also very positive this morning. So there could be a reunion with family and friends and celebrations. Let's see what's more on the cards. You also have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a lady that has her emotions under control. She has to, um, she's sharp as a point as she has to think on her feet. So sometimes she might come across as cold and stern. Don't worry about that. Just ask her if you don't understand her, can you explain what you mean? This could be a Libra as well as the Queen prominently um, represents um, Libra, but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius. This is your all over energy. This could be an advisor if you are in a judicial situation or if you need professional advice because she also represents institutions and municipalities. This could be a doctor, a teacher, an advocate, a lawyer, a marriage guidance counsellor, a social worker, anything like that. So perhaps you could be dealing with one of these people. If you're not meeting any of the air signs, you could be taking a page out of her books keeping your emotions under the control. She's also known as the widow, so you could be dealing with um, a single parent person uh, that has children. It doesn't have to be a widow, it can also be somebody that is separated. But she doesn't take BS lightly, as she uses her sword and knows that the sword cuts on both sides. So she will cut straight through to the core of the thing or if the situation and get rid of the BS and gets the truth and clarity that you are looking for. So if somebody's not doing this for you, then you could be finding doing this yourself, taking a page out of her book and keeping your emotions under control, especially around the full moon. So a lot of people are sensitive, highly sensitive or more intuitive but you have to think on your feet, quick and sharp. You also, that's the overall energy, you also have the world, so you're definitely in balance. This could also be a mother-in-law um, that is career orientated or business orientated or an advisor or a mother figure, could also be your own mother. But being on the top of the world, the world is your oyster. This is also a new beginning as a phase is coming to an, an end. Where there is an ending, there's a new beginning. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. You could be meeting or dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, Scorpio or an Aquarius. So you've got Leo and Aquarius in your reading already. You could be moving home. So you could be um, signing official papers at the notary public or an advocate or a lawyer or at the real estate agent if you're buying a house as this card means also moving home or the business. You could be starting a web shop and so you might need licenses or legalities so the Queen of Swords could be helping you there. Also you could be going on holiday. Double check your itinerary, I'm getting to hear your ID and your itinerary before you leave. There's different rules and regulations in the world. Okay. You might need um, a visa or you might need inoculations if you're going to a warm country. Also, you could be going on to the next level in romance or in career. In, obviously, in romance, it can be an engagement, marriage or celebrating an anniversary. Also, starting a family or expanding the family with an other child or with a pet. Also, um, this card means that you could be um, meeting people on the web if you're looking for a partner. You could be joining a dating site or meeting people on the web for some reason or rather. 
number 19 becomes a 10. So a 10 is an ending. Where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Also, we have the Page of Swords. If you would be getting pregnant now, it could be a Gemini baby. So definitely official news is coming to you. It could be about a child since you've got the Page of um, uh, Swords. Also, the Page of Swords represent prominently Aquarius, um, but don't forget Gemini or Libra. Also, you have the Knight of Cups. There is an offer coming in. This could be an offer of love. Like I said, you could be going on to the next level. So it's not only love, but it could be engagement or marriage. This could also be an offer of a job or an offer of uh, something else. But you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces. Scorpio being here in your reading with the world. You've also got the Hermit. The Hermit um, being a number nine, again, an ending, a new beginning. You could be going away for a midweek break or a weekend break, or you might be uh, going inward to discover yourself, to meditate, contemplate and evaluate, perhaps with regards to a situation, to get clarity. Also, you've got the nine of cups. You might have more than one wish, so you could be contemplating about that as the hermit does the retreats. To think and meditate and let go of the old and make room for the new. Also, he is a guide. He can be an advisor as well as he is an old, mature man and has life experience and life knowledge. Definitely a wish could be coming true or a dream or a goal as you've got the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, an ending, new beginning again. And we have the Eight of Pentacles upside down. So I think your wish is with regards to something that you are passionate about or that you love. Um, if you are wishing for a promotion or a wage rise, it won't happen at this moment. Because the Eight of Pentacles means that you've got recognition for your hard work, your determination, your tenacity and your detail to work. So perhaps you could be seeking advice um, about how to flip this card, how to get recognition and what to do to get recognition for this promotion or a wage rise. Well, I'll give you a little tip. You could be getting advice, go and see your career officer or go and see the union. And if you're not a member of the union, there must be another organization um, that can give you advice like social security perhaps there is somebody that does uh, career uh, evaluations or uh, interviews they could help you as well eight does mean the house of strength physical strength and the house of money so there's not money coming in at the moment not extra money also you have the page of wands this is prominently Sagittarius, um, um, but don't forget Aries or Leo. Again, news. This could be news that's in the baby shoes. Um, if you're starting up your own business, like the web shop or something on the web, presentations or communications, something or teaching, you could be getting delays um, and with a higher pay. Definitely try to sort things out, um, especially with regards on the web. You can get different apps, see what is the most um, featured app that is used around the world, like PayPal or um, um, credit card. That could help you and get them paid much quicker. Also, be strategic, plan logical and take that plan into action but also be creative you are passionate about it and you're waiting on news this could be about a child this could come from a child or somebody younger than you you've got the four of wands so definitely celebrations are here double celebrations because you've got the three of cups 
This could be the marriage card. This is the marriage card, not prominently, but a lot of people are already married and so therefore it means celebrations. You could be moving home since you've got the world and the four of wands as the four of wands representing renting or buying a new home. You could be having a housewarming party. If it isn't neither of these celebrations, then you could be just being invited to a celebration or a presentation or gatherings where there is a lot of people and something is being celebrated. Perhaps an anniversary of a firm that you work for, something like that, or an anniversary in the community of the community centre or the church, or something like that. But it, you could be meeting new people there and there can be new friendships and partnerships forged from this gathering and they will be built on solid foundations. As the four ones rep represents the four corners of a house and a house all needs to be built on a solid foundation. Four also means stability and productivity. So definitely at the end of the weeks, things are moving onwards again for you and being more stable and more productive. So I think the eight of pentacles could be turned around after getting that advice. Now, for those that would like to have a love card, see what resonates from the reading in your romance and have a look at the romance readings as well. And we've got the wedding card. This is the wedding card. So two cards representing weddings. If you're not getting married, then you could be invited to a wedding. This situation involves marriage. So like I said, you could be meeting somebody at this, this wedding or this gathering or this celebration. And that could be to your advantage. You could be partnering up in, um, uh, in partnership in work. And you've got a date of destiny. That is the card for you this week. And I'm also date with destiny. You all, there's always a blueprint before you are born. There is a blueprint. So now your blueprint is saying destiny. They have spirit has brought you here with um, the the intent to meet your destiny, the place where you need to be, the time and the place. Okay, let's see a date with destiny. Listen up, you are being guided to your date of with destiny. You know about internet dating? Well, I was talking about that and that's what it says in the book. Well, this is about online with heaven for a divine date with destiny. How beautiful is that? The more willing you are to serve the heavenly frequencies, and that means meditation and you've got the um, hermit, who also represents Virgo, so this most probably Virgo time, right? The more likely you are to be in the right place at the right time. This is creepy because I don't know these cards, the in-depth meaning, and that's exactly what I said to you. At the right time, at the right place. Now is the time to be willing to listen to the heavenly directives from your guides. This is about taking a very conscious walk of faith. It may even mean sharing your psychic in insights whenever you are directed to do so by spirit. Perhaps someone is in need of healing or a reading by you, or maybe you are being called to service, to be a witness, to do nothing while someone struggles except to listen and be supportive don't be late for your date with destiny and you could be the one that has the life experience and the life knowledge so that you are the guide you're the hermit for somebody else how beautiful is that i hope you've enjoyed this reading leo take care stay safe and sorry libra and be safe Take care. Bye-bye, Libra.